If it swims, he seeks it. If it exists, he will find it. And if it's possible, he'll catch it. Simply Fishing and host Bob Masacomer are on a quest to expand your fishing horizons on every episode. Brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Beckman, North America's trusted name in nets. Klein Nissan, your Nissan dealer with a global perspective. M&G by Lindy, now with the Buckaboo. Pose, makers of the original giant jackpot and a waker. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Angler's Edge Plus, fishing on the edge of technology. And by Western Filaments Tough Lines, when only the toughest will do. Course, you... Nice one. How that chatterbait? Oh, that's the one you're t you're telling you're missing. Yep. Your secret lure. Yep. Nice fish. Slider in here. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, girl. She like there she goes. <laughs> you these. Hi, folks, everybody. We're at Reindeer Lake Lodge, and uh, to be honest with you, it's Lindbergh's Reindeer Lake Lodge. In the back of the boat with me right now is Jason Johnson. I've never had the opportunity to fish with Jason, and I've never had the opportunity to throw this little guy right here. This is a chatterbait. It's a musky-sized chatterbait. For those of you in the bass world have seen these things being thrown on largemouth, well, Musky Innovations has got this thing up here. We're going to be throwing it just a little bit on these big pike. Maybe we'll catch some fish. We got the buckaboos with us. We got the imaging spinner bass. We got some jerk baits in top water. The infamous giant jackpot. Don't go anywhere. Jason and I, we're going to catch some big. I'm talking really huge, huge northern pike right here at Lindbergh's Reindeer Lake Lodge. Don't go anywhere. This is a really good area. Water level coming up and kind of made this area a lot better. With the high water? Oh! Oh, right there, huh? Yeah. Otherwise, last year, there's practically impossible to get, uh, a couple years ago, it'd be impossible to get in here. You'd only be able to fish along the banks. Uh-huh. This has one thing about the high water, rooting some, rooting some areas, and but creating some new other, ones. Yeah, new yeah. fishing spots. For you. What you normally have up here is a congregation of fish that'll be active and, and generally in the shallow areas. What we have found, however, is something totally different. Our whole season this year is sort of unique in the sense that it's out of whack. Right now, these water temperatures are warmer than they should be. The fish aren't where they should be. They are where they want to be. What we have to do is collectively put our senses together, move them around the lake, and try to find them. We're going to have to change up the way we fish to catch these fish. I don't think we're going to see the big congregations of fish, however, we're going to have fun catching some big ones. Nice fish. That's a really nice one. Out of the center, like you said. I would say that's a 39. Huh? What do you figure? 39? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 39 plus 5. <laughs> that's a nice fish. That's what you come to reindeer for, right there. That's a big pike. He's gonna hold. That's 
That's a nice fish. What do you think, Dave? 40 hold. <laughs> 40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 40, uh, 4 or 5. <laughs> yeah. Come here, girl. She's hooked, I think, pretty well. Oh, yeah. She's easy, 44, 45. Ouch. You are mad down there, aren't you? Sorry, hold it up for a second. Oh, I got to turn her. Okay. I got it. Kind of, kind of just hold. Okay. Come here, girl. <laughs> when they sound like they're flushing the toilet at the side of the boat, you know it's a good one. <laughs> exactly. Okay, come here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> For a second, I was kind of worried that if she ran with your lizard on there, there goes <laughs> your rod would have been might have been in the water. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she likes you, Jason. <laughs> She's gonna come off of here and suck it. Man, is she mad? Over here. That hook is right in the wrong place for me to get to gill her. Okay. We're going in. Okay. Got her? Yep. Okay. I'm going to see if I can I'm turn the boat around here. That's a big head there. Yeah, she didn't like that at all. Not happy with me at all. She ate that buckaboo though. She ate it good. You want to see her quick? Sure. Nice one. Yes, indeed. That is a beautiful, beautiful reindeer lake bike. Boat trying to get her down in here. How big you think? Forty four? Possibly I don't know. back here it could be <laughs> could be a lot bigger because I'm way back here, so you you just wanted to measure that one, didn't you? Yeah. You just wanted to get over there and close and measure that one. This water in, in and of itself is dark, and then the bottom beneath it's dark. So it's really hard to see targets in there. I'm about to get one. Oh, never mind. There's two red. See my lure? Two big ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. One's gone up, and this other one's staying by this lily pad. You'll get the other one, guy? I'll get, I'll get the other one. We'll get doubles here. How big? Uh, 40s? 40s. There's one of them. I was right behind mine was bigger than that. Nice fish. A lot of difference between this fish and a 45 though, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It's pretty amazing. He ate that lizard. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, you are a nice fish, but you are not. There you go. Thank you. Nothing wrong with you at all. <laughs> you another one chasing you? <laughs> there, no, I had a busy with the motor. I saw my line go zip, zip, and I thought I set the oculus off. What I got, folks, is I got my buckaboo rod laying here, 
And what we've done is we've come up in these pads here. Jason pulled a couple of fish out. He missed actually a pretty good one. And we're back in here with our soft plastics trying to finesse these fish under the pads. Oh yeah, nice fish. What's wrong with that? You got her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's a nice one. I say I saw two of them. That's what they're doing. They're just coming out of those pads. Yep, they're cruising out of the pads. Oh, okay, good release. Good release. Nice fish, too. Mm -hmm. These pads offer a good deal of protection for these fish. They have all the ambush characteristics that they need. Actually, pretty nice to fish in them. Kind of brings you back to your bass fishing days, though. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. We're going to be driving around fishing pads now for the rest of the day. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Come on, Giorella. Way out there in the middle. Get a hit? Yeah. Oh, you got one. You got him. <laughs> We just spooked out a really big one. Catch and release on barbless hooks. That's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? It's just too bad that not everybody practices it. We should, we should catch them on. Huh? We should catch them on. Lizard. Oh. I had to lay my jackpot down, picked up my lizard, and. Just jumped at it right away? Oh, well, he ate it. See another one there? Yeah, I see her now. I'll try a different. No. It's a big fish. Ooh. Oh man. What was She come Ooh. up? No. Little fish. Little fish, huh? Came out of nowhere. Ah, good. I'm trying to make sure I stay in the, stay in the boat. There's <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's still there. She's still there? Yeah, and these I... other guys come out of nowhere. Look at the colors on this one. Oh, yeah. Blue. That's a silver pike. Yep, that's a silver pike right there. No pigmentation on the side at all of that fish. The world record of that fish is only, a, I don't know, it's very small, yeah, like 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. You just look for shadows on the bottom. Good set of polarized glasses you can see down in there. Every now and then you see just a tail wiggle or something. You, you look for a little bit of motion or a a silhouette, if you will, 
Oh, where did he come from? He's got a good one, huh? No, no, he's nice. But where did he come from? <laughs> yeah, you just look away for a quick second and... Oh, give me a chance to reel. He engulfed it, he came from out of nowhere. Yeah? You can't exactly look away for a second. There he was, huh? Mm -hmm. Go back. You know why? Why? He got the lizard off. Oh, is it floating? Should it float? Does it float? Yep. Okay. Can you get around that? I just need to get around this here. Right off the rock. Come here, girl. Look at how yellow that fish is. Forty three, maybe. Maybe 44, maybe this guy doesn't look as... Shoulders she, on it? She just, she have, she just have... The last one you had caught was, uh... Yeah. Had shoulders. This one is long. Yeah. She was right on that rock though, and you were backing up there? Yeah. Barely got her hooked. Come here, girl. She's gonna come off. Good fish, though. Come here, baby. I gotta keep her head up because I know she's barely, barely hooked. Oh! Oh yeah! I'll yeah. see her quick. Really big gash inside. Too. Yeah, I see that. Do you suppose that's from bear stuff up in here? Could be up in here. But bears come up yeah. in here looking, searching for. I might get her back though. And feed on. She came right out of that rock. I'd say probably 44, huh? 40, for sure, at least. I don't have my tape real handy, so. Yeah, that's a bear claw. Look at it. Oh, I see. See it? Yeah. That's a bear claw. Swiped at it in the water, probably. There she goes. Right off of that rock, though, you were, up, you were backing right up to that rock. Mm hmm. Man, I tell you, they're liking buckaboos. Okay. What you doing? I'm gonna, th I'm gonna toss a couple up in there. Okay, go ahead. We're about as far as we can get, aren't we? I think so. You got us locked up here? Yeah. Okay. So you can cast Comb up. that pretty good. Because those last ones hit pretty decent. When they wanted it, they hit it. Oh. Now that's a shallow spot. There you go. You hit a rock? Yeah. Oh, it looks so beautiful up there. I wonder if a lizard would work in there, huh? What do you think? Think a lizard would work? Oh, it looks so beautiful up there. <laughs> you hit? Good one? Uh, sneaky. I think it's a, it's a little head shaker, but it moved the boat. 
Moving the boat. And it's coming in too easy. Too easy? What's wrong with that? <laughs> we'll go back. Another buckaboo fish. Man, they're eating that thing up. I saw the movement, aimed, fired. Look at the head on that thing. Got a big head for a lean fish. Yeah. Oh, oh we got, got a good one. There too? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. You got one. a better one though. <laughs> Look at this, maybe not. No, Look you got this. a really good one there too. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Look at the one he's got. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to use the tools, I believe. Yeah. Deep in there. Oh. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. How are you doing with yours? She's gone. <laughs> Lizards. <laughs> Lizards. <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> Lizards versus the alligators. <sighs> Pretty soon these guys will be yelling, run, it's Godzilla. They're some nice fish, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm not getting much, no, don't really, uh, not as many hits with uh, my bubble gum as I am with a... Uh, She's going down. Buckaboo. Look at her turn into the current. Yep. She finds that current just instant. 